Yeah. How are you this morning? Good. Uh, Mike, uh, sorry to bother you at home. Um, this is fairly important. Uh, we've been reviewing our programming options at many of our operations. Yeah. And due to company policies, uh, Clear Channel has uh, derived at a decision that is, um, well, it, it's pretty tough for me to uh, pass along to you. But, Mike, there's no real nice way to say this. We're going to have to let you go. Are you serious? Yes, sir. Um, you know, we, we've taken a look at our programming throughout the company after the merger. Uh -huh. And we found that... Your program is on the blue side. It doesn't conform to Clear Channel standards. Yeah. Uh, well, you know the thing is, like when I um, when I was coming out here, like they talked to me about pretty much like the content and everything they wanted, and uh, that was like pretty much what the the company was looking for and stuff. Well, Mike, yes, but that was under the old company, was it not? Yeah. No. I that was, was before. That was before the merger, was it not? It totally was. Totally was. But, um, I mean, I remember I, I had questions because I knew the merger was coming up. Mm -hmm. And so I was asking questions about that, like, well, you know, will the new company be cool with the content of the show and everything? And they, does Jim know about this, my boss now? Well, Jim is another person that we've, um, we made a decision on. And Are you serious? We'll be talking to him as well. So, Mike, uh, with, our, uh, with our new policy here and the clear channel standards is this uh, just here in san jose or what about the other markets that i have like san diego and salt lake city uh san diego and salt lake city we've made that decision as well that's nice man so mike we will give you two weeks that you'll be able to look I for another job got here though man i mean i just got here from san diego i just can't, i just got to san jose. i'm like i've been here three and a half weeks i know and i realize that but the merger just took place We'll take care of all out-of-pocket expenses on your move. I mean, that was, and we'll give you a two-week. There was a lot of that. There was a lot of moving stuff. We'll give you a two-week uh, severance paycheck. When does it start? When do, do I? I mean, do I get to go into? Since it's two weeks, do I go in today or? No, you'll no, you'll yeah. be able to go on the air today and starting Monday. <sighs> but you must conform to Clear Channel standards. And Mike, there's there's one other thing you must conform to. Lamont and Tonelli on Dirty Friday. Bro, we got you again. Hey, hey, what's up, Mikey? <laughs> You're on the air, Mikey. How you doing? <laughs> hey, Mike. <laughs> oh, my God. Mike, Mike oh my I, God. I think I smell oh turds over the phone. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> Welcome back to the Bay Area, Mikey. <laughs> you guys. Oh, man. Oh, my God. Oh, my freaking heart, man. Oh, my God. My oh, that's heart beautiful. is beating like a little bunny rabbit. <laughs> Mikey, what are, you, what are you doing with that bunny rabbit, Mike? <laughs> I hope it's nothing like the gerbil. <laughs> Hey, Mikey, hold on, okay? <laughs> the nice thing oh, about sticking beautiful. Mikey, we don't even have to give him a prize because he works here. <laughs> I demand a prize. Uh, hey, hey, by the way, Mikey, uh, when you get to your office today, you'll find about a three-and-a-half-week-old roast beef sandwich in your desk drawer. <laughs> uh, hold on, okay? I'm heart attack, I swear to God. 8-16, Lamar. Hello. Good morning. Is uh, Kim, please? This is Kim. Hi, Kim. How you doing? Uh, my name is uh, John uh, Testes, calling from the uh, magazine, and oh. I'm calling in regards to. And you know what? Honestly, I, I hate to cut you off, but I'm kind of short on time, and I I, uh, well, I don't need a subscription or anything. No, ma'am, I'm not selling a subscription. Uh, we have uh, we've come across your uh, your name on a mailing list, completely random, and uh, what I'd like to do we're we're trying to uh, survey. Uh, women across this country, a completely random survey. How'd, how'd you get my number? Uh, we, we, uh, we got it off a, a mailing list from, I guess you subscribed to a few other magazines. And uh, it's, it's through our marketing department. But, okay. but, that, but that's, anyway, what we're doing here is we're trying to survey women across this country to get our finger on the pulse of how they really feel. And, okay. and we're not trying to sell you a magazine. I will give you, if you take part in this, a year subscription to Cosmopolitan. And we'll also give you a um, uh, some uh, a slight remuneration for taking part in this. You're gonna pay me? Uh, yes, yeah, yes, you can get some money. How? Because um, I actually I'm really, really short on time. I mean, how much does this pay? If I uh, it pays 150 dollars. 
Uh, how long do you think? I mean, it's going to be quick. Oh, it'll only take five minutes. We just have a few questions to ask you. All right. If it's yeah, if it's going to only take five minutes, I'd uh, I'd do it. Okay, great. Now, uh, Kim, are you married or are you single? I'm married. You're you're married, and yeah. how long have you been married for? I've been married for about three years. All right. And do you have uh, do you have children? And if you if you do, how many? Uh, two. I have two kids. I have a, a boy and a girl. A boy and a girl. All right. Um, uh, the, the survey deals with, um, uh, with sexual relations and, and, um, uh, how many partners do you, have you had over the course of your lifetime? Now, over how old, how old, yeah, how old are you? Um, uh, I'm 30. You're, you're 30 years of age. All yes. right. And how many partners would you say you've had over the 30 years of your life? Would it be one to three? Um, well, I, I four, mean, this, four to I mean, six. Is this, is this survey this is something that's completely? Oh yes, it's absolutely completely anonymous. It, I mean, okay. Okay, your your name will not be in the magazine. Okay. Would it be one to three? Four to six. Six to nine. Nine to twelve. Or twelve to fifteen, or other. Um. <laughs> uh, other. It would be other. It would be more than fifteen. Uh, yeah, a little bit. Just uh... all right. And how many partners should we write you down for then? Well, I'm. Um, let's. I mean, it's just it's more than fifteen. More than fifteen. Right. All right. Um, let me see. All right. The next question. You're sure uh, this is anonymous? Oh, absolutely. Can you recall the best sex that you've ever had? <sighs> With is this? Best sex I've ever had, like my entire life, or is this like best my sex you've or? ever? No, best sex you've ever had your entire life. So my best sexual, like my best sexual experience. Yes. Um. Yeah, I th yeah, definitely. All right, and what would that be? You're sure this is anonymous? Absolutely. Um. Well, actually, um. Before I got married. Uh, when I was dating my my husband, my fiance at the time, yes, um, I I met someone who my 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 husband, you know, my husband now, my fiance at the time is very. Um, he doesn't like anal sex. He doesn't really like it, and um, I happen to I happen to love it. So, um, right, you know, a little while before we were getting married, I happened to meet someone, and, um, oh, okay, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta hurry, but. Is, um, is, someone, is someone at your door? Yeah, I got. um, but anyway, I, uh, I'm, I met somebody, and, um, figured it was probably gonna be one of my last opportunities to, to, to get anal sex. Uh-huh. And, uh, so, after, you know, a long night of, uh, of uh, flirting and just kind of talking, I found out that this is something that this person really, really enjoyed, and um, it was probably not only the best sex ever, but it was the best anal sex I ever had. And uh, this was just before you were married. Yeah, yeah. I mean, mm -hmm. not not that it was right, you know, or that I'm proud of it, but um, at the time I was but younger it was, and it was something that I really wanted to do. Uh, and was, Kim? I don't regret it because it was, I mean, it was like the... Kim? It was the best sexual experience of my entire life. I mean, when I think about it to this day, I just... I, I love Kim? my husband, but I would love to, to see that guy again, I'm sure. Yeah, uh, Kim, uh, your, yes. your, your husband's name is Barry. Is that correct? Yeah. Um... He told us to call you this morning. It's Lamont and Tanelia, 92.3 KSJO. Oh, shit. Oh. And that's the way that call ended when we called her on Dirty Friday. Sully, no buts about it. <laughs> Definitely the most requested of the recent highlights. I mean, when we opened up the phone lines, people, <laughs> no, were, no end. <laughs> people were like, play the anal sex call. His name is Ray. Okay. Phone him at work. Hello, is Ray there? Right here. Hi, Ray. How are you this morning? Good. Good. I'm uh, I'm phoning. Uh, I work in the other building. I know we work for a big company, and you probably don't know me, but I, I pass you in the hallway every day going to work. And uh, I'm phoning in regards to, you know, I got to tell you, your hair has been looking great lately. Really? Thanks. And, and the reason I'm calling is I, I couldn't help but notice that, like, two weeks ago, you were getting a little thin. Hey, Joe, bring that 
know. You guys busy today? Yeah, we're moving over here. Good. So, I couldn't help but notice, like, you were getting a little thin, and I'm just wondering, where did you get that tube? I'm not wearing a tube. I'm not wearing anything. Look, my Ray. natural hair. Look, Ray, like, I, I, I'm in the same situation that you are. I'm getting a little thin. I got it. Your hair looks absolutely fabulous. Don't try and put one over on me here, bud. Hang on. I'm not putting anything over on anybody. This is my natural hair, okay? This is how I look. This is... I, I'm combing it a little bit differently now, but but that's it. I mean, maybe you noticed the different... Well, yeah, because, uh, you know, if you don't mind me telling you, I noticed you were a little thin, and I saw you in the hallway, and your hair is absolutely, it's like a big, it's a, a shrub up there. It looks fabulous. Thanks. But no, now, now the thing, now. Okay, now the thing is, Ray, I'm coming clean here. I'm in the same situation that you are. I'm getting a little thin up there. Mm -hmm. And I would really appreciate it. I'm not going to tell anyone that you're wearing one, if, if indeed you are. I really need to know where you got that thing, because I don't want to go bald. I don't want any. I, I think it looks much more attractive the way you are. I well, appreciate that, but I'm not wearing a toupee. Look, Ray, Ray you got to feel for me here. I am in the same situation that you are. I'm losing my hair. I want to look young. Where can I get that tube? I know you're wearing one. Uh, all right, well, I got it at uh, International Hair Club. <laughs> what, uh... What model is it, if you don't mind me asking? It's it's the... Uh, it's not the 92.3 KSJO model, is it? You're on the air now. This is Lamont and Tonelli. You, you bastards! I'm going to sue your asses off! This is embarrassing! <laughs> wasn't the uh, rug-a-dub-dub -dub model, was it? <laughs> <laughs> Where'd you get your hair? A carpeteria? <laughs> <laughs> One of the most requested calls... That we've ever made on a dirty Friday, eight fifty four. Good morning. Uh, hi. Uh, who can I talk to about buying uh, memberships? Um, I can help you. All right. Um, I'm looking for a. I'm looking to uh, get some color in some skin. Okay. And I'm looking for a um, uh, a special deal. Now, do you sell packages of like five tans? For right. like a special price? Uh, you can buy individually or you can buy like five in a block or um, you can buy like unlimited, that kind of thing. Oh, that's perfect. And do you have any uh, open uh, space today in like one of the tanning beds? Uh-huh, yeah. Uh, probably not till like later on this afternoon. Later on this afternoon? Oh. All right, great. I think this is what I'm looking for here. And who am I talking to? My name's Jackie. Okay, Jackie. Should I ask for you when I come in? Um, yeah, or who, you know, whoever's working. Oh, whoever's here. working me on yeah. the counter. Okay, now, but you see, I'd, I'd like to set something up with you here. Uh, Jackie, you see, I've got a problem. I work at a, um, at a business where I put makeup on people, mm -hmm. all right? And I've run out of makeup, and I won't get my next shipment until Monday. And as a result, my boss will kill me unless I get some work done. So what I'd like to do is maybe put a little tan on some people, and they won't, they won't you know, my boss will know no difference. So can I bring people down there? Yeah. Okay, good, because I work at the morgue, and we have some corpses that we'd like to uh, put some color in their skin. Dead people? Yes, I work at the morgue, and there's a few bodies we have to... Uh, I've got a funeral tomorrow afternoon, and we have, like, an elderly woman in here, and she's really white. So, if so I could... you bring, like, a dead person? In? Yeah, and do and you think maybe, like, when I get the tanning booth, I can make a big block booking so I can get, like, five straight sessions in a row? Because um, we've run out of rouge. I don't... I don't think my boss will let me put, like, dead people in there. Well, what's the difference? A body's a body. But, like, they're dead. Well, that yeah, but you gross. see... But, but But you see, you really help me. If I don't do this, I may get fired. I don't... I don't know. I don't, it would only be one or two bodies. Oh, my God. That's gross. I don't, now, I don't know that I can do... I don't... I mean, I don't... Yeah, if I buy I've five tickets... If I buy five tickets... If I buy five sessions, I don't see how you can stop me from bringing a body in. Now, if your boss won't let you, maybe, maybe, is there a time when your boss isn't there and I can pay you a little extra? How's 50 bucks sound? I don't, 
I don't know. I mean, I don't, I don't want to get fired. Really? I mean, I don't no know. one would even know. I just drive up to the back door, pop the body in the tanning bed, a little, a little bake, and then boom, we'll put, put another one in, and then I'd be gone. How's about a hundred, a hundred bucks, fifty bucks a body, and that way my boss will never know. I'll have the makeup by Monday, and all the new bodies will have nice color to them. Two hundred bucks. Two hundred dollars. You don't even have to watch. Like, I'll do all the prep work myself. I don't know. Two hundred dollars, huh? Jackie. How long will it take? Well, you know, it'd probably take five sessions on 92.3 KSJO. Jackie, you're on the air. It's Lamont and Tonelli on Dirty Friday. Oh, gee. <laughs> Gloria, Gloria set you up. Oh, my gosh. Good morning. <laughs> <laughs> Jackie, do you have anything to say? I could have got fired. Well, I don't think she got fired, but we did sting her on Dirty <laughs> Friday, 20 minutes after 9 o'clock. Good morning. Is uh, Brenda there, please? This is Brenda. Hi, Brenda. How are you doing? I'm calling from the um, um, moving company. Yeah. And um, your moving van that we have uh, scheduled for you later on today. Oh, uh, wait, 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 wait. What, what about it? Brenda, I'm afraid that we've had a problem with the van. Afraid? Afraid nothing. What are you talking about? Well, the uh, the van that we had scheduled for your place um, is, is no longer in working order. We had a bit of an accident with it last night. Accident? Yes. What did you do with it? It was involved in a, a traffic accident. Well, who was driving it? Well, what the... You, what, you, no, no, no. You're telling me that I, the van that I'm supposed to take out of state is something... What, somebody crashed it? Yes, yes, ma'am, and as a result, we do not have a moving van for you this weekend. Oh, no, you don't. No, 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 you're... Uh, <clears throat> hang on. Ma'am, I'm sorry to be calling so early this morning, but, but I thought you'd like to know as soon as possible. Oh, this... No, 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 I... I've been... Uh, three hours sleep. You don't get... The, I've been up every night till about two in the morning packing. I need to be at my new job on Monday. I've had this thing scheduled for how long now? And you're going to call me now after I've had like three hours sleep and tell me I don't have a van anymore because some idiot crashed it? Ma'am, ma'am, that's out of our control. If it's, a, if it's involved in a traffic violation, I can't help that. Well, who, when, it, when one of you losers was driving it, what? I knew I should... Yeah. Yeah, hire. <laughs> wow. Uh, she so didn't need to refer to us like that. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll have to call her back and tell her don't worry, she has a van. <laughs> Did she sound like she was drunk? <laughs> I think she meant to say. <laughs> I've been up since two in the morning. <laughs> hire some mother truckers. <laughs> Please. Hello. Hello, Brenda? Yes. Hi, Brenda. I'm calling once again from... Uh, said I'm calling in regards to your van. Oh, oh, really? Starving to... That's interesting because I've been trying to call you guys for the past I don't know how long. And for some reason, I'm getting no answer. Now you're calling me? How, what, I don't understand. Well, that. no. What, what, you're calling the head office number? The, the one listed in the phone book? I'm the dispatcher. Yeah. I'm, we've got a, a different number in the back. Huh. All right, well, what now? Well, I'm just calling to say that I'm looking at, at, at the situation here with the van, and yeah, I know how angry you were when you hung up on us. And I can't help it. We cannot get a van to you this weekend. Well, I don't know. Maybe you don't understand this or not. No, I, I understand. Now, you, you, had, you, start, you were telling me just a few moments ago, you start your job Monday. Is that correct? Yes. And I'm you have got to be to Oregon this weekend. Yeah, I'm all packed. And I have nothing... I, Nothing. He, I, what I was supposed to sleep in last night. That's it. And and I was supposed to hit the road today. And this. You have no idea how this is just screwing me up. And I, I. I just can't believe that there is no way that I can have another. I mean, there's not another truck available. I don't well, believe that. 
You, you know, maybe, uh, I, I suppose we have like an old truck, but, you know, I, I don't know if, if we can get the truck to you. Look, I, I mean, what is it going to, what's it going to, extra, what, extra money? I mean, what, what is, there's got to be something. I've got, that's all, if I'm not there on Monday, I'm going to be living in that van or that truck or whatever wheelbarrow I got to cart my shit up there in. Well, you know, I suppose there is something we could do here for, for the uh, truck. Well, like what? Tell me. What? Well, what would you do for the uh, truck? How far would you go to get this truck? Well, let's, let's see. I have to be there this weekend. I have a job Monday. Um, uh, well, what are, you, what are you saying to me here? Well, we might we might be able to work out something where you we might be able to get you like a, one of our fallback trucks. I'll bump someone else on the list, but uh, are you are you trying to tell me what I think you're trying to tell me? Well, what do you think I'm trying to tell you? Oh no! Oh no! 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 Wait a minute here. Uh, uh, if you're talking, if you're talking, thrown on the knee pads and me jumping down and. No, 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 so. no, 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 I saw I you when you were in the shop. You're a very attractive woman. Oh, yeah. And I My guys on, with, that went to give me a quote on, on the amount of uh, stuff, they said you're a very good looking gal. Uh-huh. That's right. And I'll see all you assholes in court. That's what I don't think. No, I don't no, think. No, no, Brenda, Brenda, before, before you, <laughs> oh, Brenda, yeah. Brenda, before you get, maybe you, maybe you took it wrong, what I was inferring. Brenda, what I was trying to tell you is that maybe you should turn on your radio to 92.3 KSJL because, Brenda, it's Lamont and Tonelli. You're on the air. It's Dirty Friday. Lamont and... You're on the air. The gang at work said they wanted to get you one last time before you leave. Oh, you woke me up for that? Yes, we did. I wasn't kidding. I only had three hours sleep. We got you, Brenda. Do you still want to jump down on your knees and give me a blow? Uh, yeah, Lamont, sure, you, you, but, yeah, everybody in the whole damn thing, so. Say hi to the gang at work. Hold on, okay? Oh, God. Okay. <laughs> at least she stood by her guns. She what said do you there's expect no me way. to drop on my knees, then? Right. I don't think so. My name's not Monica. <laughs> Way to go, Brenda. Good girl. Hello? Good morning. Is uh, Diana there, please? Yeah, speaking. Hi, Diana. I'm calling from uh, Hertz Rent-A-Car, and I'm calling in regards to the uh, car that you rented down in Los Angeles earlier on this week. Uh-huh. Um, going over uh, our damage report here, it seems that we, ha we have some damage that we damage have Damage to... report? Yes, ma'am. Um, there was a scratch on the door, and you didn't indicate that to us when you, when you turned the car Wait a minute, in. wait a minute. That was there before I rented it. Well, now, Diana, I don't know if you've read the contract correctly, but when you took the car out, the, you agreed to the fact that that car had absolutely no damage on it whatsoever. Yeah. And that was not indicated on our damage report. No damage that I have done. Well, no, ma'am, when you picked the car up, though... Yeah, when I picked it up, that scratch was there. And did you notify the attendant that the scratch was on the door? Well, I thought you guys knew. I mean, it's clear as day. Well, no, ma'am. I if, can't. I can't if, be responsible for coming and, and like checking out your cars when I rent them. No, ma'am. When you pick up the car, did did you see the the report there that shows that if there's anything on the car whatsoever for you to indicate it to us to the attendant on the scene, so that way we know that the car was absolutely perfect or it had some blemish on it when it left the lot. You know what? I feel like you're trying to trap me right now. This that's not. I picked the car up. There was a scratch on the car before I picked it up. And you it's, didn't tell the attendant, and it was not on the damage report. Are we well, in agreement I'm not, with I'm that? Not, it's not my responsibility to write a damage report for you guys. I mean, you guys should keep maintenance up for your own car. I mean, this is bullshit. You can't do this. No, Diana, Diana, you returned the car. You didn't indicate there was a scratch on the door. Listen, I am not trying to get away with anything, okay? I'm not trying to, you know... I rented a car. There was a scratch on the car to begin with. Well, it's we, not my responsibility. We, we, this are, is complete bullshit. And if you're going to... Diana, Diana, I... I I'm going to get a lawyer if I have to get a lawyer. Diana, I, I dispute the fact there was a scratch on the door. And for the agreement that you've signed at the moment... This is we, complete bullshit, Di okay? Di Diana, Diana... Wow. Oh, wow. 
What a hothead. Uh, we'll have to give her a call. Sully, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make you the uh, guy that did the damage report when we call her back, okay? Okay, I've called our attendant in here, and he's examined the car. We'll do that in a moment. Hello? Good morning. Is uh, Diana there, please? Yes, it's there. Hi, Diana. Mr. Schwann's calling again from the car. I'm calling uh, in regards to the disagreement we just had concerning the scratch on the door of the rental car that you uh, checked out. Yeah, there's really no disagreement. Uh, listen, the damage listen, was there when I picked it up. Diana, we can talk about this all day, and that's why I went to talk to the attendant that that checked the car over before you took it out. I don't care. Well, no, I've You're got trying to pin this on me. No, ma'am, I am not. Scratch ma'am, was I'm, there when I picked it up. Ma'am, I'm not trying to pin this on you, and I know we had a problem because it wasn't indicated on the checkout sheet. So that's why I went and I thought we could clear this all up. Mohammed, come on over here. Mohammed's the attendant that checks over the cars when they come in Hi, and before Ma. they go out. Hi, Dana. Hi. And, and now, 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 Mohammed, let me Mohammed, ask you Mohammed, you're going to tell me that that scratch was not there when I picked it up. Mohammed? No, there was nothing wrong with the car when you picked it up. See? Yeah, yeah because Shit. I'm, I'm That doing... is an outright lie. No, Mohammed, that is... Mohammed? No, no, no. That, you're lying, bitch. That was, in, there was nothing... There was Did you just call wrong. me a lying bitch? Yeah, there was nothing wrong with the car. Excuse me. Excuse me. Wait a minute. Is this how you treat your customers? No, you just called me a lying bitch? Ma'am, he, he no, checked the car over with a fine-tooth comb. Yes, so it's his word against mine. The scratch was there when I picked it up. I went, I signed the contract, and I left. You should have indicated to me that I had to thoroughly look every little minuscule thing over. You two be the whore. What? No, 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 Muhammad. Yeah. We don't insult the customers like that. Don't Listen, call her you a two bit Don't call her a two bit whore. Okay? You know, sir, but the, the, when she's the, a fifty cent whore. So yeah, you're a raghead. <laughs> Diana, Diana. Listen, the scratch, the, the, Diana. Before you go here, let me just say one thing. The scratch was not on the door before you took it off. Yes. I, I know that for a fact. I, I know that for, for a fact. Because your boyfriend told us it's Lamont Tanelli on ninety two three KSJ. It's Dirty Friday, <laughs> Diana. Oh my God. Jeff said to give you a call. You're on the air. Oh, my God, I'm horrified. You two-bit whore. <laughs> Settle down, Diana. You lying bitch. Okay. Oh. Diana, hold on the line, all right? Yes. Okay. All right, don't go away, Diana. Uh, we'll, we have something for you for being on like, Dirty oh, Friday. Oh, you call her that again. What'd you call her? You two be tall. Uh -oh. <laughs> hold on the line, Diana. <laughs> Did you hear her when you called her that? Yeah. You what? <laughs> <laughs> Who do you want to get this morning? You raghead. <laughs> yeah, she was getting pissed off at you, so. Yeah. I told you it would get me in trouble. <laughs> Hello. Good morning. I'm looking for Mr. Art. You're speaking to him. Hi, Art. How you doing? Uh, this is uh, John Weber calling from uh, Brokerage. And uh, I'm calling in regards to the margin uh, that you've taken out. I've got a margin call here for you. Yeah. All right. Um, you, uh, I guess you bought some stock on margin. Is that correct? Yeah, that's correct. All right. Um, and I'm sorry, is, am I bothering you at work? No, no, no. I mean, I was, I was expecting you guys to call. Oh, you were? Okay, uh, at the moment, you owe $12,496 on the call. Shit. Yeah. Now, wow. Now, Art, does this create a problem? Because if you want, we could sell the stock in your account to cover the, um, to cover the cost. Mm, man, how much was that again? 12000 Yeah, 496 I don't have it right now. Damn. Um, well, you'll have until 3 o'clock... At the end of uh, trading today, at 3 o'clock our time, by the time we shut down our office, oh, to come up with the money. I don't have it. And if you don't have it, what we can do, if you want, I can just sell the stock right now. No, 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 no. Um, oh, man, shit. Now, keep in mind, at the close of trading today at 1 o'clock, could, we could be asking for more. That's just what you owed as of yesterday at the end of trading. I and, don't have it. And the stock market is down again today. I don't have it. I don't have it right now. Man. I'm going to have to come up with it somehow. Okay. Um, I'm going to have to... Uh, 
Uh, what time do I have till? Well, you'll have until 3 o'clock when the office closes today. Now, keep in mind, you could owe a little more at the end of trading today, but then that would be due again tomorrow. Oh, man, 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 oh,
Hi, what? John. John calling in. You want me to call the police on you? Don't. Well, I'll tell you what. She's hot. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna have to wash her mouth out with something. <laughs> well, I know her mouth is bad. <laughs> Let's call her back. <laughs> we gotta call her back here. You Tell her she's on the air. I here. think you need to call her a potty mouth. Yes, absolutely. Among other things. Uh, uh, <laughs> there we go. Hello, Kelly. I'm going to send my boyfriend over there to kick your ass. Kelly, 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 before you get mad, now your boyfriend's name is Ben, is that correct? How'd you know that? Well, I saw you guys in the laundry room. Actually, he told me all about it. Kelly, <laughs> it's Lamont and Tonelli on 92.3 KSJO. You're on the air. It's Dirty Friday. Oh, my God. Hey. Good morning. Done any loads of laundry lately? <laughs> Excuse oh me. God. Maybe I should say, good morning. Is <laughs> this whole thing down the air? You bet, Kelly. Oh, my God. <laughs> Do you have anything to say to your boyfriend? That's it. He's cut off. <laughs> <laughs> Kelly, hold on the line, okay? Yeah. Don't, don't go away. And where was that you well, sent me then? San Carlos? Yeah. <laughs> How would you know where to go? I don't know. I just figured downtown San Jose. <laughs> <laughs> Kelly, Kelly, hang on the line. We'll, give, on, you, we'll give you a spooge towel. Absolutely. And you might want to wipe the corners of your mouth just a little bit. <laughs>